99.5 WKDQ, today's best country. It's Eric Cornish here with your afternoon show. And uh, on a week of concerts that just keep on coming, I'm looking so forward tonight to our third You Hear It First concert at Backstage Bar and Grill. Logan Mize is going to be there, and he's here with us now. How you doing, man? Good. How are you? Awesome. Ready for a, uh, a rocking show tonight? Yeah, it should do, be fun. Do you like the bar shows? Do you like the intimate crowd where you can get right up on them? I, yeah, you know, I, I grew up doing this, so uh, I started playing bars. You know, back in Wichita, where I'm from, a long time ago, and then in Southern Illinois, where I went to college. So it kind of feels like home a little bit. Okay, cool. So yeah. you went to Southern Illinois? Or are you I Saluki? I, I, yeah, I'm a Saluki. I, I only went two years. I dropped out. Yeah. But, uh, well, but don't that, listen to me, kids. Yeah, uh, but that's not far from here. So I'm sure <laughs> yeah. we definitely got some Southern Illinois folks that are coming yeah. over today. So that's cool. Yeah. Awesome, man. So what uh, what type of show? I mean, from the from the stuff I've heard from you, it seems like it's pretty upbeat rock and stuff. So yeah, you know, I grew up listening to a lot of the Heartland Rock guys. You know, like Mel and Camp and and uh, Petty and and uh, Springsteen and all that stuff. And I love country music too. You know, I'm a country guy. You know, Alan Jackson is one of my favorites. But we try to we try to keep it a really up tempo uh, rock and show, and and uh, it's a lot of fun. And uh, and we'll we'll try not to crash scooters around town. I hear you were doing that last night. Oh man, we got we got the biggest mistake we ever made. We bought these three scooters. We got um, one of them looks like a mini chopper, like a mini Harley, and and then we have two other little uh, scooters. But the guys, for some reason, can't seem to keep them off the ground. I think they <laughs> last night uh, they got wrecked maybe five or six times. And I don't even know if they run anymore. One of them got wrecked into a house <laughs> oh, at like that's not good. 2 o'clock in the morning. It was bad. Well, yeah, you all fit right in here in Evansville. Yeah. <laughs> you, you stay around long enough, you'll see a lot of those mopeds and scooters uh, hanging around town. Nice. <laughs> um, so let, let me throw some rapid-fire stuff at you so people can get to know you here okay. pretty quick. Um, so so you said you're from Kansas. Uh-huh. So what's the only thing that you've got to go home to, to get this to eat? You can't really find it anywhere else that's any good. Oh, well, my dad's a butcher, so uh, he always has the best, uh, you know, uh, this is going to sound weird, but he always has the best meat. Sure. You know. Uh, of course. And, <laughs> <laughs> so so we go back, and, and dad's always got some good stuff. You know, he, he's uh, been a butcher my whole life. So actually, I got tired of steak growing up. I was like, Dad, I can't eat steak one more, one more yeah. time. You know, we, this is what we eat every day. And so, uh, but yeah, it's, it's great. And he knows how to grill it right. It's good. Awesome. Okay. If you're, if you're going to binge watch anything like on a Sunday afternoon, what would it be? Oh man, I'm not much of a TV watcher. Uh, I think the only show that I really watched a series from start to finish was Parenthood because my wife yeah. was into it and I, she got me watching it and I was sad when it ended, you know, it only went like four or five seasons. Uh, but Parenthood, yeah, it, was, it was a good show. Okay, cool. So as, as a parent, you are a parent now, right? Yep. At, yep. How many kids? Two. Two kids, and what are their ages? I have a four-year-old boy, Lincoln, and then I have a six-month-old girl, uh, Violet. Wow. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm with you on this with the young kids. So <laughs> what is one thing that uh, you've said as a dad that's, that just blows your mind? You never thought you would say the phrase ever. Oh, God. I'm sure there's a lot of it because I know I say it every day. Yeah, I don't know any phrases. Uh, you know, you, ne- you never think that your kid's going to do anything bad, and then, you, you know, they'll – They'll tell these little white lies, like you know, try to not really not white lies, just straight out lies. Like yeah, <laughs> trying to get out of stuff, you know. Uh, and uh, you never, you never think you're gonna have to face a situation where your kid just lied to you about something, and and you have to face that because you know you love them and they're yeah. cute. And you don't want to, and then they say that, and the next thing you know, like they're in big trouble, and you're really mad at them. And it's uh, it's just crazy how that that happens. It's it's wild as parents, and then you know, I mean, some of the stuff for me, it's like. You know, we don't lick the front door. You know, it's like, yeah, right. when, like <laughs> yeah. when, when would I have ever used that phrase? But, oh man! But and my kids yeah. are horrible liars too. So yeah, yeah. I, I get it. You know, yeah. you can just see it in their eyes, and but then they'll turn around and make you smile one day right. later, right? Yeah. 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 All right, man. Well, uh, looking forward to tonight, and we're gonna play uh, the first single that you had out. Tell us about it. Uh, Can't get away from a good time was the first single on uh, Sony Nashville, and and uh, you know it was it was an independent release. You know, I was an independent artist for years, so. It was the last independent song I'd put out, and um, you know, it, it's a goofy song. It's just a fun, uh, you know. But it's a true. St- I mean, if you live in a small town, it's a true story. You go outside to mow your lawn, and next thing you know, you got seven people over there, right? You know, Max Knight, your fridge, and uh, so you know, that was just that was something that I wrote that I thought was funny and, and pretty accurate to how I grew up. So, um, yeah, I never thought in a million years it would it would be my debut single on a major label. Yeah. So, you know, it sold like 100,000 copies or something like that independently. And and 
and next thing you know, it's getting put out on a major label as a single. So, yeah, I think it's you know it, it's funny. It yeah, is. It's, it's a fun it, song. So so it's uh, it's it's cool that one of the goofiest songs I ever wrote was my first single. And you talk about your kids lying to get out of trouble. It's a good way to get you out of trouble if you've been having too much fun. It's That's just true. like, hey, listen, I, I can't, can't it just follows me it, it everywhere. Just follows me, yeah. I can't get away from. It. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to play that single for you right now. Logan Mai is going to be at Backstage Bar and Grill tonight. I think the uh, show starts at 8 o'clock. You go on, what, about 10, 10.30, something like that? I think so, yeah. Okay, so that's uh, later on tonight. The You Here at First Concert Series. Don't miss it. Logan Mai is over at Backstage Bar and Grill. Here he is. Can't get away from a good time on WKDQ.